Chargers, ready! Hello everyone, Hulu Torbies here, and this is a review of the Power Rangers Dino Charge, Dino Charger, Ultimate Power Packs 1 and 2. I don't normally collect the Dino Charger Power Packs, but when I do, I get them in the swords that look like Dino Thunder. <laughs> you can see what I was trying to parody. I was trying to parody the world's most interesting man right there. But yeah, these Dino Charger Packs, I don't normally collect Dino Charger Packs, but these are actually pretty special because... The charges could glow in the dark, and the mini zords that the packs always come with, these ones are actually recolored after Dino Thunder Zords, except for one of them. So, let's get on with this review. Now, this review contains a lot of Dino Chargers because, of course, this is a Dino Charger Ultimate Power Pack. But first, I'm gonna go over the mini zords, which are the most significant part of the review, and then I'm going to go over the Dino Chargers all at the end. So now, let's get on to the mini swords. So first, let's go over the only non-Dino Thunder based sword in this pack, the Black T-Rex. So the Black T-Rex over here is actually based off of Black Abutira from Kyoruja vs Go Busters. And we will actually be getting a release of the Black T-Rex. Because basically what will happen is that the Dino Charge Megazord, the T-Rex from the Dino Charge Megazord, will actually be getting a re-release in the black and gold coloring. Like Black Gobbitair from Kyoja vs. Go Busters. Which, honestly, why not just do a black and gold Megazord all together? So, over here, you have the red eye. Nothing really special here in the body, it's just a black repaint. And you have yellow feathers over here. But, it still looks nice. And what you can do is that you can split these, grab a Dino Charger, and you put them in the holes. And basically, this could do dinosaur things. Yeah, I don't really see the purpose of this, but it looks nice for anyone who doesn't have space for chargers. And what you can also do is that if you leave that disassembled, and grab another dino, let's say the green parasaur, you can combine them. So basically, it's kind of like a mix and match thing. And yeah, while some people might find it goofy, I actually really liked it. Like, you can make really good combinations with this. So now let me put them back to normal. So now, let's go over the next Zord. I'm gonna do this by order on how the dinosaurs are in Dino Charge, which, for example, you have T-Rex, and you have Parasaur, and you have Stegosaurs. So this is why the green Parasaur is next. So, over here we have the green Parasaur, which this is actually based off the Parasaur from Dino Thunder. And it looks pretty nice. You have the black over here. You have the red eyes over here. And the body, while nothing special like the T-Rex, it still looks good in green. And over here in the back, this actually kind of looks like the scissors that the Parasaur and Dino Thunder had on Dino Thunder. While on Dino Charge, the Parasaur has a gun. But, if you just ignore like this little section inside here, it can look like the scissors. So, like the T-Rex, nothing really that special, but still looks cool. So now, let's go on to the Stegosaurus. Alright, so, here we have the Stegosaurus painted in pink, because in Dino Thunder, the Stegosaurus was actually an auxiliary sword that was in this crimson color. It wasn't really pink, it was more of a mix between pink and crimson. But, over here we have the Stegosaurus which is actually blue in Dino Charge, but over here you have the yellow spike over here, which looks nice. You have the blue paint over here, which again, I actually like this blue paint. Remember that blue is my favorite color, and this blue paint actually looks really good. It looks like metallic blue almost. And you have the magenta painting over here. Yes, I know I said pink earlier, but it actually looks more magenta on camera than pink. And again, you can do the same thing with all the others, but, really, it's still nice to put on display. So now let's go over to Raptor. 
So here's a repaint of the Raptor, which the Raptor and Dino Charge is green. But in case you didn't know, this repaint is not actually a Raptor. Now you may be saying, what? But let me explain. So over here you have red paint, over here obviously. You have silver paint for the tail along with red, and you have green eyes. What does this sound like to you? Yup, it's a Tyrannosaur from Dino Thunder. How did I know this? I observed the colors and then I looked up a, I looked up an image of the Tyrannosaur, and it looked similar. So this is actually supposed to represent the Tyrannosaur. Now you may be asking, why didn't they just repaint the Tyrannosaurus with Dino Charge? The Tyrannosaurus with Dino Charge is already red, so it'd be pointless to release another red. And keep in mind that, Tyr that the Tyrannosaur from Dino Thunder is actually skinnier. So this is why they would use the Raptor. And many people were like, this is supposedly the Raptor Rider maybe? But nope, it's the T-Rex. So you can thank me for figuring that out. So next, let's go over the Triceratops. So over here we have a blue recolor of the Triceratops from Dino Charge, and while the Triceratops from Dino Charge is pink for the Pink Ranger, the Triceratops in Dino Thunder is actually blue for the Blue Ranger. So over here it's basically a repaint of the Triceratops, but it looks nice, and again blue is my favorite color so I immediately dig this. You have the red eye over here, and you have the yellow horns, which the Triceratops in Dino Thunder also had yellow horns. It didn't really have yellow, it had more gold or yellow, like the Stegosaurus is fine. But still, it actually looks pretty show accurate to Dino Thunder. And I'm actually pretty surprised with that. And obviously, the Triceratops and Dino Thunder did not have a drill on its tail. But nevertheless, it still looks good. So now let's go over the Pterodactyl. So over here we have a yellow repaint of the gold Pterosaur from Dino Charge. So, if you didn't know, the Gold Ranger in Dino Charge is the one that uses the power of the Pterodactyl, which is actually the Pteranodon, but in the show they say Pterodactyl, while the Yellow Ranger in Dino Thunder would use the power of the Pterodactyl. Since they're both Terras, I guess that's why they painted this yellow, because they're both Terras, who really cares? So, over here, you can see the yellow coloring, which looks nice. You have the red eye over here, and this visor really shouldn't be here because it's not on the Pterosaur and Dino Thunder. And this is actually pretty nice. Like, what really surprises me is that in Dino Thunder, the Pterosaur was actually just this small little thing. But yet in Dino Charge, it's a whole freaking Megazord. But if we got a yellow repaint of the Terror Charge Megazord, I would actually be very pleased because the thing is, Females are bashed a lot when it comes to Power Rangers toy line, in terms of that they barely get anything. And having a yellow repaint of the Terra Charge Megazord could signify like a female getting her own Megazord. Like Dino Thunder Yellow getting her own Megazord. So a female getting her own Megazord, which I don't think that has been done before. And in Kyoryuja, yes, you could say Kyoryu Violet got play zone, but Let's keep in mind that she always had a male companion with her when piloting plays on. Except for that one Christmas episode where we nearly saw her pirate the Megazord, but then Ramirez and Tessai came in to help. But enough of my rant, the Pterosaur still looks nice. So next, let's go over to Pachyzord. So over here we have a purple repaint of the Pachyzord from Dino Charge. So over here as you can see, in Dino Thunder, the Zord, the Cephalosaur that was based off the Pachycephalosaurus, was actually purple. And over here, it looks pretty nice. Obviously, the Cephalosaur did not have a little chain in the back of its tail, but it did have boxing gloves over here, which they should have painted the claws yellow to represent the boxing gloves, because honestly, the Cephalosaur is actually my favorite Dino Thunder Auxiliary Sword, because of its boxing glove, and you may not believe this, because of its roar. Just go check out Dino Thunder sometime and hear its roar, and this is why I freaking love the Cephalosaur. So over here you have the Grey Helmet, which this is actually kind of inaccurate because in Dino Thunder, the Cephalosaur actually has yellow on his head, and then he has like grey spikes sticking out. But I'm guessing that they painted this grey because in Dino Charge, the Pachyzord has a yellow helmet. So over here you can do the same thing like with the other Dinozords. And, yeah, it actually looks pretty nice. 
And we actually get a preview of the purple that will probably be used when the Plesio Charge... Not the Plesio Charge, the Plesiosaur Power Pack comes out. So we get a, a preview of what shade of purple will be used. So next, let's go over the cycle. So I want to pause for a second to tell you guys that these three upcoming Zords are not actually in the Dino Charge show. And Kyoryuger, these were the Guardians and they didn't have any Zords, they only had Attack Judenchi. But in Dino Charge, Bandai decided to make these little Dinos based off of the Guardians for us, which is actually pretty nice, I have to give them credit for that. And so the Guardians got their own repaints. So I just want to inform you of that, that these three are not in the show. But, they're just toy exclusive. So now, let's go on to the Dinosicus. So, over here we have the Dinosicus. I mean Dinonicus, sorry, they both confuse me. Dinosicus is actually next. And, I can't honestly say what this looks like. Because, you have the gray paint over here, the yellow eyes, and the black wheels. Which obviously represent the Dino Cycle. And, I can't tell what this is supposed to represent in Dino Thunder. Because, it could represent the Black Raptor Rider, but again, the wheels throw me off. So, I don't really know what to say for this. Like, don't get me wrong, it's nice, but I seriously can't tell what this is, and nobody has been able to tell what this is. Not even Shukin Shinobi and Dosimari have been able to say, like, what this is supposed to be. So, yeah. I don't know what this is supposed to be, but it still looks good. So now, let's go on to the Dinosicus. So over here is the blue Dinosicus, and it looks pretty nice. This is actually supposed to be orange, which, now that it's painted blue, it's such a contrast. And many people couldn't figure out what this is, but I actually know what this is. This is actually the Demetrozord. How did I figure this out? Well, let's start off by the color. The color is blue, and while the Demetrozord is more of a light blue, it's still blue anyways. And over here, the eyes of the Demetrozord are red, but Bandai probably ran out of red paint because of their budget, and they probably painted it orange over here instead of red. I know the teeth are not gold on here, but they're gold on the Demetrozord. But if you look at the head structure of the Dinosicus, it actually looks very similar to the head structure of the Demetrozord. It's just basically a larger version of the Demetrozord's head. And all that's really missing is the saw blade, and it would be obvious to everyone that it's the Demetrozord. But still, it looks pretty nice, and I'm actually the first to figure out that it's the Demetrozord, just like with the T-Rex from Dino Thunder, so you better thank me for that. So now, let's go over the Kentrosaurus. So over here we have the Kentrosaurus, which originally it's the light blue and now it's orange, so such a contrast, and this isn't actually supposed to represent a Kentrosaurus. This is actually supposed to represent the Ankylosaur from Dino Thunder. Which, the Ankylosaur in Dino Thunder was orange, while in Dino Charge it's aqua. And, obviously, we have the Kentrosaurus over here because nothing of the Aqua Ranger has been released. Because, even though the Ankylosaur has debuted on the show, the Aqua Ranger himself has yet to debut until Dino Supercharge. So, over here you have the color, orange over here. You have the blue eyes over here, which, again, just like with... The Dinosicus Zord, it's actually contrasted the color, considering orange is the opposite of blue. And over here you have some silver over here, and overall this looks pretty nice. And now that we've finished that with all the dinos, let's go on to the chargers. So over here are all the dino chargers that come with these two sets, and let's start off with the T-Rex charger because it's number one over here, not because it's red. So, over here you have the Tyrannosaurus, you have the little animation, you have the head over there, you have Tyrannosaurus Rex, and that's basically it. These chargers can glow in the dark, but earlier I tested out that function, and it seems like the chargers can't glow in the dark. I don't know what's wrong with them. So, I'll try to figure that out, maybe I'll put in a separate segment while editing this video. So, over here is the pair is the Paracharger, number two, Parahead, the Parasaurolophus animation, on the back, Parasaurolophus, over here you have Stegosaurus, you have the Stego head, 
the Stegosaurus over there, number three. Over here, you have the Velociraptor, which you can see the animation. Number four, Raptor Head, and Velociraptor. Well, it seems like the guy who printed the text here on the Dino Chargers is a really big fan of Microsoft Font A. So, over here is the number five. You have the Triceratops over there with the Tricera Head. You have Triceratops over there. You have the Pterodactyl over here. You have the nice gold over here, which... This is actually a new charger to my collection. Because the Stego Charger I don't have, but... I do have the Terra Charger, but... This is actually new to my collection, considering the Terra Charger I have is the clear version. So you have the Pterodactyl over here. You have the Terra Head over here, number 6. And Pteranodon. Which... Yes, it's actually a Pteranodon, but the show refers to it as Pterodactyl. So over here, you have the Packy Charger, which this is new to my collection. You have Pachycephalosaurus here. You have the number 8 here. You have the Pachycephalosaurus animation. Over here, you have the Packy Head, and over here, the Packy looks like it's about to headbutt someone. Here's the Dino Cycle Charger, which obviously is based off the Deinonychus. Yes, I said it right. Over here, you have the animation. Number 11, and the Deinonychus head. Over here, you have the Deinon... Deinosychus, there it was. Jesus, I got confused the second time. So, orange, the 12. You have the Deinonychus over here. Deinosychus. Jesus, I keep forgetting. And you have the Deinosychus head over here. Finally, I said it right. And over here, you have the Dino Spike Charger. Which, I forgot, this is the Dino Armor X Charger. Over here, you have the Dino Spike Charger. With the Kentorosaurus. Over here, you have the animation. Number 13, the Light Blue and the Kentorosaurus head. So, now let's go over the sounds, and I'm not going to use the clip from PR Samurai Cast because while I do give credit to him, I feel like I'm stealing the clip from him and I'm taking advantage of it. So, I'm actually going to imitate the Morpher myself. Yes, I can do pretty good imitations, and I think I can imitate the Dino Morpher really well. So now, let's go over the sounds. T-Rex Charger, engage. Tyrannosaurus Rex. Power Ranger, red! Power Charger, engage! Parasaurolophus, Power Ranger, black! Stego Charger, engage! Stegosaurus, Power Ranger, blue! Raptor Charger, engage! Velociraptor, Power Ranger, green! Tricera Charger, engage! Triceratops, Power Ranger, pink! Terra Charger, engage. Tyranodon, Power Ranger, gold. Packy Charger, engage. Packy Cephalosaurus, Power Ranger, graphite. Dino Cycle Charger, engage. Deinonychus, Dino Armor X Charger, engage. Deinosychus, Dino Spike Charger, engage. Gantorosaurus. I know you guys are gonna be saying, wait a minute, I'm not gonna scan the chargers? Well, hear me out. It's a lot of work to scan all these chargers at once. So what I'm going to do is that I'm actually gonna give you guys the code so that you can scan them. So now, let's begin the codes.
So overall, the Ultimate Power Pack is pretty nice and I would highly recommend it to anybody who collects the Dino Chargers or is a fan of Dino Charge and Dino Thunder. Even though the Chargers are the same as the regular releases, they still help out for anyone who still needs to collect Chargers like me. And the Zords are in pretty nice detail, so I would highly recommend this. I'm Julio Torbius, and I'm signing off. Thanks for watching, everyone.